I say dumb things. Which I will not apologize for. I do dumb shit that I hope you all get a laugh with. Right, okay. A uh, while back, someone in the comments actually wanted to know why I got arrested. Well, I did explain this on the previous YouTube channel before YouTube decided to delete it. Because reasons that are unknown. And everybody already knows how vague and cynical and... Well, maybe not cynical, but vague and shady YouTube is being about the rules and what they call pad actors. So why don't I explain it again? Uh, there's a bunch of things leading up to what happened. It started sometime around the funeral for one of my sisters. Only after the funeral did I learn she was raped, uh, contracted a disease that kicked off her restrictive cardiomyopathy that basically turned her heart into a lump of calcified flesh inside of her chest and then it just went exploded inside of her body we watched her die a very slow very painful death it was not pretty it was not funny it, it was horrifying and we were all my whole family we were all just mentally, emotionally numb. We still are. I try to deflect with comedy, but, you know, when people harass me in online games because they can, it really pisses me off. So, because of the, um, I don't know what to call it, PTSD, the, the stress and the trauma we all went through with my sister dying well technically it was a very slow form of murder <clears throat> it just sends me off the deep end and I get really 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 very 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 angry and it's it's not cool and by no means is it cool to be harassed and annoyed for dumb shit so that's why I yell and scream at people for doing dumb things it's all a, a mind fuck of sorts it's really hurts it's not something I like to think about really so I've been distracting myself by being an idiot in games, trying to entertain and amuse people for the fuck's sake fun of it. So, you know, immediately after the funeral, my stepdad decides to be a fucking thundering cunt because he's narcissistic, self-obsessed. He attacks me, grabs me by the balls, pummels me into the brick chimney, and I see a flash of an image in my mind of, of the uh, rifle he had recently bought and put in his closet. And I sort of blank the fuck out. What would you do if someone grabs you by the balls after they've done that for, well, not that specifically, but he's done other things. Just severely fucking annoying things such as chasing me down in a vehicle when I ran the fuck away and getting me put into mental hospitals and basically you know, every time I try to get out of the situation he would chase me down and it wasn't pretty 
this whole pattern of his behavior is what made me blank the fuck out combined with all the stress of the situation so I defended myself don't remember much of what fucking happened still don't remember much what I do know is he wound up in the hospital I wound up in their jail they DA didn't give a uh, rat's ass about the stress leading up to the situation uh, the fact that uh, the psyche the mind can only take so much stress before it breaks so that's the basics of what happened why am I making a video on this right now well it's not just because someone in the comments a while back wanted to know it's because well the dude over at the, the probation thingy that they want me to go in through they're trying to hook line and sinker me back into uh, violating probation in some way they're going at the financial angle because I've, you know, I've told them, I've explained to them, I'm on disability and food stamps. My rent is nearly 500, and my bills are like two to 300 for each one for uh, electricity and food and internet and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, my mom's over there helping with half of my bills because I don't have enough money to pay them. So we fill out a form to exempt the uh, the fee, the monthly fee for the, uh, the supervision fee. They let it, uh, they let the paperwork sit there for a couple of months and then they come back recently and say, no, we're denying you, we don't care, pay us money. Money I don't have. Money I can't pull out of my ass from nowhere. And me having the wonderful knowledge of <coughs> psychology and, uh, well, well, let me summarize that. The, the study of human behavior. Me having that wonderful knowledge, I gauge the reply and responses I get from the dude in the office. I determined that based on the information I've seen and the current patterns of behavior that I'm observing building up to what's uh, what's going on here, they're not going to listen. They're, they're not going to um, they're not going to care about the financial situation I'm in. They, they don't care. Never have, never will. So the only thing I'm left with is basically going, hey, everybody on YouTube, I'm in a screwed up situation. My family can't pay for this. I can't pay for this. Uh, YouTube's not giving me ad revenue. I don't fit their criteria and just recently, um, it seems unrelated, but it is relative and relevant, I've seen a, a channel with just 25 videos with fucking thousands of hits per video. And I'm like, how are you getting by on so few videos when I've got nearly 600? I'm putting real effort into it, and uh, I'm getting nowhere. I'm spinning my wheels. I'm trying to do dumb shit for people's uh, amusement over here. I'm getting nowhere with it. Well, there we run into a circular money situation. See, Google Ads will take a video that you have and put it in their promotional thing as long as you pay for it. I don't have the money to pay for that. I don't. That's why I've got uh, PayPal, Patreon, uh, 
three or four other links in the descriptions on my channel on the main thingy on on the about or whatever it is page and in the description of every video and uh, that's that's what I've planned to rely on heavily and as far as ads if I ever get that it'd be one ad before the beginning of the video and for those really long ones I might break it up every hour or so with a, a, an ad break in there but I'm not really gonna push it that much I'm, I'm not gonna push it to where it's just a yellow bar and everything's an ad yeah I might do one of those just just as a, a spoof a satirical comedic uh, parody of the situation that that is that it represents just for shits and giggles but it, it would be on just one of these vlog style videos just me just spouting random nonsense so viewers basically do you mind becoming patron or PayPal supporters you know patron for continuous monthly stuff PayPal for a one-time lump sum there's also uh, what is it cash app and two or three others in there Just whatever flavor of uh, contribution you want to put in I don't like shoving into my videos just me saying hey there's these links in the description they do these things so use them I don't like telling everyone to like comment subscribe turn on the bell for notifications I, I, I don't really don't like that I don't like it when channels do that the very first of the video I really don't care for it but if you guys and girls and people out there whatever you identify as fuck it who cares at this point if you people out there want me to remind you yeah sure go ahead uh, let me know in the comments but they're always there. The links are always there. Also, I need to help take care of my family. I need to give back to my family and I've got nothing to do it with right now. And later on, yeah, I don't mind throwing a few dollars here and there into a charity or something that's for later on when I get good and going and everything's set in place and it's good but for now I'm just in this um, minefield situation of WTF -ery. and I'm trying to tone down the uh, choice words here because YouTube's algorithm really doesn't like these certain words. Yes, it is an infringement on the freedom of speech. Yes, it is censorship. But because I want this video to be out there to as many people as possible, you have to dial it back. Well, this isn't going to affect me saying dumb things and uh, just being everyone's favorite idiot while I play games. Uh, one thing, one thing I've got to really work on for right now is uh, sticking a bunch of floaters to the Reaper Leviathan in Subnautica and trying to get that thing to float. 
Yeah, the first time I attempted it, I thought that the uh, radiation from the aurora was messing with it. And I was like, is it killing these uh, floaters before they stick to it? So I'll have to go into another save file. I'm going to start it up on uh, survival and then use console commands. And I'm going to get through the... Um, patching of the Aurora's drive core and wait a few days in game for the radiation to go away and then I'm going to try and find the Reaper Leviathan and start recording from that point but if, if you want to see the, all the mundane build up to it let me know I don't have a problem with doing that makes the video a lot longer couple of hours longer but your choice at this point I've got an idea I'm just sitting on it for a moment on top of that some some wannabe tried to dox me on Twitter I really didn't want to bring this one up either Someone hacked into my stuff, started sending uh, comments and pictures out on, on my Twitter account. And then a bunch of people just started harassing me over it. It's not cool. It's not funny. Whoever it is needs to stop doing this nonsense. It, you're just contributing to the stress of someone else. If you're trying to take out your own stress, get a deep tissue shiatsu massage that will really help yeah you know, follow it up with uh, some chamomile or and or uh, what's that purple flower lavender lavender or lavender and chamomile tea that'll help it's really nice and relaxing especially that deep tissue shiatsu massage that stuff was real nice I've had a, a few of those in the past before I was in this situation I'm in now when I actually did have a few extra dollars to spend uh, one of the local dudes a fan member as a nation dies I believe it's the band he's in was in I don't know if he's still in it He's got a, um, a degree in the field of study and a license to practice massage. He's a masseur. Or he was last time I checked. Nice fellow. Plays the bass in the band. You can probably find As a Nation Dies on Facebook or Twitter. Okay. Tell the bass player that... Uh, a friend of his friend, uh, old friend of his brother said, "Hey, what's up? How you doing? If you want, don't harass them. Just leave them a nice message, letting them know they're they're pretty cool." I think that wraps it up. I'm in a really screwed up situation. I was put in jail for defending myself. The DA didn't give a rat's posterior end about the circumstances that led up to the, the breaking point of my psychological and emotional and mental stability. Still don't care. All they want is money. Uh, so, you know, I'm telling you guys, why not help me out here so I can throw them a bone later on, do the charity things that I want to do. What I really want to do, you know, long-term plan, is to build up enough to actually send a million or so. Just do, you know, my, my little bitty teeny tiny part here. Send a million or so into the whatever Federal Reserve account is actually necessary for reducing the United States deficit, which is at... 20 trillion dollars last time I checked so you know a million dollars ain't gonna do crap for that 
it's only going to prolong the inevitable. But you know, if if we can get enough people to do that, we can actually halt the progress of of that and start reducing the inflation that's going on with taxes and the rising cost of living. That's a long-term goal that I'd like to work towards. But uh, no one can do that by their onesie. I mean, unless you're like uh, Elon Musk or fucking, uh, what's his name? The other guy who has like billions. Yeah, but uh, we don't hear anything about them contributing to that. They just keep talking about rockets and AI. I'm curious. Elon, dude, man. If someone puts a link to you for this video and you watch it, why aren't you helping with the deficit so that we can combat the rising cost of living and inflation? That's a bigger problem than AI and launching a car into space, man. That's vanity projects right there. We need to do something more real. Anyway, there's where I'm at right now. I don't like it. I don't like talking about it. I probably left a few things out. I really don't want to discuss it further. But there it is. I don't know what else to say. But uh, till next time. Hopefully I'll be doing something uh, amusing and silly in some games. Like usual. Hopefully there's a next time. Your favorite idiot saying goodbye. Hopefully it's not for good. I am really lost right now. So, bye.